Yes, I'm doing it. I'm reading Murderbot. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Angela and yeah, a little bit a different type of video today um, where I'm reading my pick from your recommendations that I picked out of the, yeah, the recommendation jar. Um, so yeah, Murderbot um, or better All Systems Red as the first installment in the Murderbot series is called by Martha Wells. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I've heard really good things about it and yeah, also um, it's super short. I picked up the ebook. Um, it's only a hundred pages in that format, um, but I'm really looking forward to reading this and I'm trying to plan a little bit a different type of video. So instead of me just talking about the book or doing a normal kind like spoiler free review, I thought I'd do a little bit of a reading vlog, something more like, let's say, reading vlog light. Um, I'm not really kind like the type of person that likes to kind like film myself all the time. Um, but I'm also thinking, uh, yeah, why not give this a try? Why not try something new? So you will see a couple of other things than just me um, talking about the book. Also, this will be more about my experiences, what I like, what I don't like. If I have some more analytical insights, I will share them with you. And I will try to keep it as spoiler free as possible so that even people who haven't read the book yet can enjoy the video. Okay, I would say let's get going. Okay, I'm a couple of um, pages in, roughly like half, almost there at the halfway point, um, 45 pages. Um, and so far, I love Murderbot. Oh my God. Uh, Murderbot is just super quirky, super interesting character. Um, as the um, title says, it's a roboter. It's like I think it's more of a mix between a robot and a cyborg um, powered by software, no, by code. And a Murderbot manages to get rid of what it calls its governor module. It hacks into it. And that has a couple of consequences. One is Murderbot gets a bit more sentience and independence, of course. But also uh, Murderbot discovers the entertainment package and is um, a fan of soap operas. And I love this. This is so quirky. Um, it's first person narrative. Um, a lot of people don't like first person and I don't get why not because this is really lovely. Um, I like spending my time in Murderbot's head, so to say, and get um, its view of the world and also its view of us humans. Um, and there are also moments where Murderbot is almost more human than we are. Um, I mean, it's designed to kill. It's basically a killing machine. Um, but since it has this sentience, it really isn't kind of like so keen on this anymore. Um, and it also has for something that is basically still a piece of software, Murderbot has a absolutely enchanting dry type of humor, which I really, really like. So I so far had an absolutely brilliant time with Murderbot and yeah, can't wait to read on. Yes, 
I'm back in my corner, but I also finished Murderbot. And I have to say, I really, really like this. Um, this was delightful to read. Um, yeah, I like the character of Murderbot and this premise that it's a character that hacks into its um, governing system um, to gain independence in a way and also sentience. Uh, I also like how Murderbot interacts with humans. Um, so we're on this planet with a yeah, exploration team of scientists who take samples. Um, um, yeah, I think with the goal that the planet then will be exploited for mining. Um, there is also a kind of like rivaling um, exploration team on the planet. And we have a bit of a like sabotage plot going on as well so overall murderbot is quite fast paced in um, parts um and i really like that it has almost like yeah action sequences as well but um the focus point is really murderbot um and that is part to this first person narrative and as i said i like that um but also yeah, Murderbot, I think, is first and foremost an exploration about what makes us human. So where does this start that we're seen as human? And what is that? What is, is, is that just one thing or is it several things that have to come together to see us as human? Um, it's also looking at things like othering. Um, and this goes actually from both sides. And I thought that was really nicely done. Um, the humans in their interaction with Murderbot other it, of course, because it's not seen as human. Um, but also Murderbot looks at humans um, as the other, which are not a bot. No, They're not a Murderbot or any other type of bot. So um, it refers to us humans, for example, as weird. Um, and uh, I think this flip of perspective is done really well, and I really enjoyed that. Um, also, yeah, there are two texts that um, All Systems Red um, reminded me of. The first one is, of course, Perdido Street Station, which I just recently finished. Um, and it's interesting because in Perdido we have the Construct Council, which is an IA entity. Uh, made up of a lot of different kind like electronic devices. Um, but funnily enough, Murderbot is not reminding me of this entity, but Murderbot is reminding me more of Yagarek. And I think the reason is that both Murderbot and Yagarek are on this personal development arc almost. Um, and I think in both cases, we can also yeah, frame this arc in um, questions of redemption. Um, so I think this is where the connection for for me mostly is. The other um, text this reminds me of is Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell started its life as a manga um, and then anime and I think there's also a motion picture. Um, I personally only know the, uh, um, the anime. I haven't read the manga. Um, but why it reminded me of Ghost in the Shell is, um, in Ghost in the Shell we have, uh, what's her name, Mo, Mo, I think Motoka Kunagi or Kunasagi, something like that. Um, she is um, a cyborg police woman. Now, they're very different, Murderbot and Motoko Kunasagi, because Murderbot is not gendered at all. Murderbot has no gender identifying parts, so to say. It doesn't have any genitalia whatsoever. And actually Murderbot reflects on this as well in a really quirky, funny way again. Um, whereas um, the cyborg in uh, Ghost in the Shell is clearly gendered. But I think this is, has more to do with manga conventions and also cultural norms than um, anything else probably. But where the two meet is that um, both use a similar device um, to explore this idea of yeah, where 
do humans start? When do we become human? And for Ghost in the Shell, it's the question about what has a soul and what constitutes a soul. And this is what this phrase, Ghost in the Shell, stands for, the soul. Um, either in the shell of our bodies or then for the cyborgs no, in, in their mechanical bodies, but then also the code that drives them. Um, so, but both Murderbot and um, Major um, Motoko Kunasagi have both, uh, yeah, a hobby. No, uh, the Major she likes diving, um, and Murderbot watches soap operas. And um, the Major is also asked, so why do you even have a hobby? You're a cyborg, you're a machine. Um, and why is it diving? And her answer is because when I'm diving, this gives me the, that's when I most have the feeling that I have a soul. Um, and the same, I think, happens with Murderbot. The device, I think, is used in a similar way. Murderbot as well, when Murderbot watches the soap operas, this is where we get really glimpses into a surprisingly rich um, emotional inner life of Murderbot and how Murderbot relates to itself, but also how Murderbot then relates to the humans. Um, and I found this really well done and well used as well. So yeah, I had overall a really good time with Murderbot. If I have one little gripe, then it's, yeah, Murderbot, or better, All Systems Red, this first installment, it's very short, it's just a novella, it's a hundred pages. Um, and it touches on a lot of really deep themes at times. No? For example, the question of freedom. No? Murderbot, of course, wants some type of, of form of freedom. And what will this be and what, yeah, who will determine this? Um, and it's also then linked into questions of agency, which I really liked because it's one of my, let's say, themes I'm passionate about, you know, especially when it comes to female representation. But I think it's really interestingly explored here because, yeah, Murderbot isn't gendered. Murderbot doesn't have a sex. So um, it really brings home this point that those are questions that um, apply to all humans. Um, and I really like that about Murderbot. But also, yeah, I think those topics are almost a little bit too big for such a short text. Um, now I do understand it's the first in the Murderbot Diaries series. Um, so I would like to pick up at least the second, maybe also the third one, to just see what is Martha Wells doing with those topics. Um, and yeah, if I like where it's going, I might eventually really read the whole series. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's a, it's a very slight minor gripe that I might have with this so far. Otherwise, this was a wonderful, great start, great first pick from the recommendation jar. Wonderful start to my journey through my reader's recommendations. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the next one. And until then, um, if you're celebrating Christmas or whatever else you might want to celebrate, um, I'm wishing that the holidays will be a period of rest and joy for you.